If you'd like to use your Zoom input screen share and camera in your vMix production at the same time, just like this, stick around. G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're looking at screen sharing using Zoom. Zoom integration was added to vMix in version 27, and that's the version that I'm using today. Now, if you wanted to follow along step-by-step, step, you could download our free 60-day trial of vMix at vmix.com. So here in vMix, we have already added a couple of Zoom inputs right here in number seven and eight. Now, in order to add a Zoom input, I've just gone down to add input, clicked on Zoom, and then clicked OK, and then gone through the setup process. And I've done that twice to add two Zoom inputs. Now, if you wanna know more about Zoom, you can check out the videos we have linked in the description. Now, once I have some Zoom inputs in my production, I can right click on them in order to make some changes to our settings. So what I'm gonna do now is right click on number seven here. And first of all, I'll show you the participant source. Now, at the moment, I've selected none, which allows me to have some blank inputs here that allows me to create things like this double box here before actually bringing people into the production itself. Now, by default, it will be on default, which means it will automatically load up the first person that connects to a Zoom meeting. And underneath that, you'll be able to select the individual participants. So I've selected it none at the moment, so I can kind of set things up before bringing people directly into the production. Now, underneath that, I've got participant source type. And for the options here, we have video, share, and auto. Now, this determines what source will appear in this input. By default, in this menu here, auto is the selected option. Now, auto means that the source is going to be whatever the Zoom participant is sending you at that time. So if they have their camera video set up to be sent to you, then you'll see that in this input. If they then switch it to a share option, then you will see their screen share in this input. So depending on what they're sending you at that time is what you'll see in this input. And if they do start sharing with you, a little blue banner will appear to let you know that they are sharing. Now, the other options here will change that. Now, if we select video here, that will mean that the source will only be their video camera source and not their share. It's locked down to their video source only. If we select share here, it means that our source will be their screen share source only. So it's locked down to their screen share. Now, as I mentioned before, auto is the default option here. And it basically just allows the participant to send whatever they want to be seen in the Zoom call. So if they're sharing a screen, you, you wanna present that. If they want their camera to be seen, then they're presenting that. So that's kind of how the auto option works. However, what if you wanna display both their camera and their screen at the same time for more interesting content. Well, that's where this tutorial comes in. We can actually add two Zoom inputs in vMix of the same participant and then change the source on each input. So it means that we could have their video camera as one input and then a screen share as another input. And so by using this double input method, it allows us to do cool things like having a double box here with the small box down the corner for the camera and then the large box for the screen share. Now, the final thing that we need to consider here is the participant audio. So by default, Zoom doesn't send screen share audio. And I think that's because you wanna usually talk over a presentation. If you've got audio on a presentation and a microphone from a camera, it can kind of get a little bit muddled through Zoom. So they don't have it on by default. But in your vMix production, you could manage that audio separately. So I'll show you how to set that up now. So if you want to include that screen share audio, you'll need to adjust the audio source. So I'm going to right click my input here, then go down to audio source and select share. So this will just send the screen share audio. So it's only going to be really effective in this two input method where we have one input bringing through the camera audio and the other input bringing through the screen share audio. Now we're going to settle this up from the beginning and bring in Heath to our production with his live camera feed and his screen share. So first thing, I'm gonna to go to input seven here and right click on it. Participant source, I'm going to select Heath. Now we have a Heath in our production. Hello Heath, um, you don't need to say anything right yet. I should have teed you up for that one. Now I will ask you, how are you Heath? I'm going well, thanks Tim, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for joining me on this production today. Now I'm going to right click it again and I'm going to select the participant source type and I'm going to select his video, which means that he's only going to be sending through his camera video feed on this particular input. Now in number input eight, I'm going to right click on it, go to participant source and click Heath. 
Now we have two Heaths in our production. Yep, thank you Heath. Now I'm gonna right click it again and I'm going to go participant source type and select share. So on this input now, I'm only seeing if he shares uh, his screen with us. So that's now why it's blank because he's not actually sending anything through yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to request Heath, could you please send through a screen share from your Zoom? So Heath will now set up screen sharing. As you can see, it's gone blue. It let's me know here that he is sharing something. So I can bring that into the program output. And if you wanna just scroll on that website for us there and give us a quick description of what we're looking at. So complete your training in what's next at vMix University. Okay, thank you very much. So yeah, we have the big window here, which has his screen share and then a smaller window so we can see who he is and what he's up to. All right, now what I'm going to get Heath to do now is set up audio sharing for his uh, sharing content. Firstly, I'm going to make sure it's set up in vMix by right clicking on the input, going down to audio source and just making sure it says share. So that's going to bring through the share audio. I click that and then I'm going to ask Heath to go through the process of setting up share audio in Zoom. So if you could do that now for us, Heath. Okay, so it looks like he's selected the media player window that he wants to share. He's clicked shared sound. He's then selected stereo as an option and then he's clicked share down the bottom and he's queued up the video and it looks like he's ready to go now. Okay, it looks like Heath is finished and he's now sharing his screen, which is a video file with some audio. So I'm going to get Heath to play that and we should be able to hear some audio coming through from that share and we should see the audio meters move next to this input. So if you wanna play that for us, Heath. All right, cool. If you wanna pause that for us now. And so yeah, that was it. We had the audio coming through directly from his screen share on this input only and we can use it as a part of our production so he can talk and also play audio from his screen share as well. So that's very exciting. So I appreciate your help today, Heath. And uh, I'm just gonna finish off this video now. So any final words? No, just uh, good luck with getting it done. It's been a long day. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us today on this video. If you do have any questions about Zoom or vMix, definitely drop us an email via the support page on vmix.com. We'll also have some Zoom videos linked in the description if you wanna know how to use Zoom fully and not just the screen sharing options here. So uh, yeah, check those out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we will stream you later. Destination unknown. Doom, 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 doom.